two times we have come into the United States today. Um, pretty funny. Right now we are heading back to Mexico. <laughs> Bridge crossing. Also, but... it's her birthday. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be heading into Houston to see some family, which we're really excited about. It's a good day. We're gonna get some coffee. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Ask her. Where is she? What I have to make the reservations. Diga. All reservations. How much is that? 273 pesos. Ooh, so it's like almost 15 bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the most expensive toll that we've had. Ah. Uh, between Monterey y and las reservaciones Nueva del avión. Laredo. Answer, yes, I know where it is. We are approaching the U.S.-Mexico border and we are coming to the end of our Mexico portion of this trip. Everything has just gone so well. Um, there were a couple hiccups. He was saying something about taking one of our licenses. So we ended up just giving him the 1,500 pesos so that we did not have to drive back to Campeche and waste like so much time. But nothing that felt dangerous. Um, this route was such a good route. And all the advice that we got um, from other people who had done it, which was, you know, driving as much as you can during the day. Okay, we're happy, we paid our ticket. This is our receipt, so we're gonna be able to get our plate back. Time to hit the road again, it's a little late. Uh, we're gonna try to uh, make up some time on the road, not get pulled over, not get any more tickets, but we are living the full experience of this road trip. I'm staying you know, in safe neighborhoods along the way, in great towns. There's no keys? No. You should call her. Hola, uh, mi nombre es... Cassandra. We are actually approaching this town called Nuevo Laredo, which is the Mexican border town and on the other side it's Laredo, Texas. We are actually kind of bypassing Laredo and instead of going through that entry point, we are heading a little bit north. I think it's like an extra 20 minutes north to the Columbia crossing border. Many people said it was like the safest, easiest one to go through. There's like hardly ever any lines. So I feel like we're gonna save time even though it's 20 minutes out of our way. Yeah, it's full circle. It's the one we came down into Mexico um, from the United States in. And it was very easy when we went before. So hopefully it's very easy going back in. I feel like, you know, we've got angels around us and just really grateful. And we've met so many nice people along the way. So hoping everything goes smoothly through the border. <laughs> Columbia border crossing. Automobiles, cars to the left. <laughs> Here is the border patrol. We have documents ready. Okay, we just made it through. That was much easier than. I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be more difficult, but he. We just sort of talked to him for a minute. He barely checked the door behind Nate's door. He didn't even lift anything up. He just sort of looked in and saw there was like a suitcase there. Um, so everything was very easy. We even sort of talked about like the Blazers because yes, we were from Oregon. Um, yes, what we were doing in Mexico, and of course, you know, just touring around and we blog and we vlog and that kind of stuff. Um, very friendly guy. <laughs> but then we just realized that we also have the temporary import permit. 
And I think you're supposed to get like your $200 that you pay when you go into Mexico back. Nate just walked up there before we actually exit this whole border control area to see about um, getting that refund back. Now we're in Texas, so pretty easy altogether and painless and... We just drove over the Mexican-US border, realizing once we were in America that we did not take care of our temporary import permit for our car. I ran over and I asked a quick question of what should we do and uh, apparently you cannot handle this when you're in America. You actually have to handle it when you're in Mexico. The border agent I talked to said that there are, uh, that Mexico will restrict visas and entry if you do not return your temporary import permit for uh, restrictions of two years to five years. We are now heading back to Mexico <laughs> through Laredo and we're going to handle our Mexican, uh, our temporary import permit turn around there and come right back into the United States. If and we had known, we would have just gone straight through Laredo, which we were right there. And it's just frustrating because we're wasting time, but at least we know. At least we know and we'll get 200 bucks back. You know, this is one of the things is like doing experiments where we're driving around and we are doing as much research as we can on where to go. There's going to be a couple things that you're going to see that you're going to overlook or things that you are going to uh, need to learn while you're while you're doing uh, a road trip international. So right now we are heading back to Mexico. <laughs> Basically, so we had to exit Salida, turn around, we're going back in, and then this is where we can take care of our temporary import, all while immigrating back into the United States. So, two times we have come into the United States today. Um, pretty funny. So, that was painless. Half hour out of our time. Um, we're, we're heading back into America now without our temporary import permit. No, 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 gracias. The Mexican border is much different than the U.S. border. I actually like the Mexican border a little bit more. People are people are working on their money and hold on one sec. Gracias. <laughs> That's all I have. Say, solo tengo. Just re returning to what I was saying before, it was really painless. We drove in, uh, it cost us $3 American, so make sure if you are having to return. 350. 350 in US currency cash, sorry. Um, and then we just turned around, gave the guy our paperwork and the sticker off the front of our car. It was really easy. I think this states that we've returned the TIP. Yep. So we and won't it, get in trouble with Mexico. Yep, and they put the deposit back on my card, on my credit card. Um, and so it was pretty painless. Now we're coming back through the Laredo crossing, which I would say is uh, 10 times more busy with <laughs> normal cars, not semi trucks than Columbia. Columbia crossing. Now we're back, we're heading back into Texas. No more permit for Mexico, which is kind of sad, but we will be back soon. <laughs> Now that we're in America, we decided coming from Mexico and coming into Texas, it was just right for us to go and get a burrito. We chose a little uh, local place called Chipotle uh, to get our burritos. We're pretty excited. You don't really get like burritos like Chipotle in Mexico that much. They're usually pretty small. <laughs> really tasty in Mexico, but definitely not the giant four pound burritos that they serve at, at Chipotle. I know that it's probably not the best thing in the world, but we like Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in San Antonio right now, and we're just stopping through. Cassie's taking the helm. We're gonna be heading to Houston after we get our burritos. Yay. Happy birthday to you! <laughs>